Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is your weekly for May 19th through the 20th. I'm so, so sorry that it's late. I couldn't find quiet time to get the second half of my readings done um, before um, Saturday. And I thought I was gonna have time to do them Saturday. I mean Sunday, yesterday, but I didn't. I actually did, I just um, chose to hang with some friends instead. And well, I was hanging with friends and I could have left to go find somewhere to do my readings, but you know, I decided to just wait. So anyway, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There is a mosquito flying around, so if y'all see me swatting and swinging and stuff, that's why. I'm not crazy. <clears throat> anyway. Um, during this week, Mercury's in Taurus, Venus is in Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus, Mercury's in ca uh, Cancer, Jupiter's retrograde in Sagittarius, Neptune is in Pisces, Saturn is retrograde in Capricorn, Pluto's retrograde in Capricorn as well. Our dark moon is on the June on June first, and our new moon is in Gemini. Our full moon that just passed on the 18th was in Scorpio. It was lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, my moon is in Scorpio, and it was just. It was just beautiful. Um, I had a I had an amazing day, and I was very very tired at the end of the day, but I still managed to steam. I did a yoni steam, and I meditated, and it was beautiful. I got the best sleep, and then yesterday was really cool too. The moon is still pretty full, but the moon is now in Sagittarius. So. Let's see what's going on with you, Sagittarius. I'm a rising Venus and Jupiter. If you don't know how to check your placement, there is a video in the description box showing you how to do so. Um, this is a relationship spread. It can apply to any type of relationship in your life. So take it how it resonates. It can be past, present, or future energy. Even though it's coming out for this particular week, it may have already resonated with you. It may be future energy. It may be happening this week. Um, so... Again, take a high resonate. Energy is fluid. Time is fluid. So um, don't pay too much to attention to the masculine and feminine energies of the readings. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Well, I mean, I'm not saying don't pay too much attention, but don't get too hung up on the gender. I just feel like that little sucker is around here biting me somewhere. Anyway. All of my social media information is in the description box as well as how to connect with me um, for a personal reading or donate to my channel. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Also, overall theme of the reading is Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants a new beginning, a new start. Uh, they want to make, uh, make a new investment, plant new seeds, um, new opportunity. Could be a, a new job, a new source of income. A new opportunity for growth or advancement. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy, Earth energy. That's the overall theme of the reading. Could be stability. Um, you could be wanting to acquire more finances, or you could just be um, desiring new potential or new opportunities within a certain situation involving stability or money or loyalty. We have the Seven of Pentacles for the relationship situation. I feel like there's um, vision here. There possibly is, is growth. <clears throat> um, some of you could be a little bit discouraged by the speed because Pentacles are slow. So it could be slow growth and some of you could be a little bit discouraged about, um, about your fire sign you like fast things so you could be a little bit discouraged about the speed in which this is growing this is Taurus energy and this is we're still in Taurus season um, until what the 21st 22nd something like that <clears throat> but this is long-term investment I think you see the vision you see the growth you see the potential here there is um, there's potential for su success and um, you see the hard work is beginning to pay off and you see uh, the fruits of your labors starting to sprout. <clears throat> you're feeling a, you're feeling good about that. You're thinking, you're feeling, <laughs> I think you're thinking about your mental space is about wish fulfillment, um, a wish come true. You're, you're thinking about achievement. You're thinking about um, joy, happiness, fulfillment, um, possibly a new relationship. 
this could be a new relationship for you <clears throat> you're thinking about happiness and just just being happy um friends success joy if you're just thinking about the things that make you happy i just feel like that sucker is in here biting the shit out of me behind my back i'm sorry y'all <laughs> um let me cover myself i need a snuggie anyway this is pisces energy jupiter and pisces energy um i feel like you just feel lucky um mentally you're just thinking about all the things that are wonderful and just uh, all the things that make you happy um i think that that's what's on your mental space um very very much so a positive reinforcement type of manifestation type of mindset like you're thinking about the things that you want to manifest or the thinking of thinking about the things that you do have already that make you very happy um emotionally i feel like you're socializing having a lot of fun with your friends you could just be um celebrating a lot drinking a lot partying um attending weddings baby showers family gatherings um just having a lot of fun enjoying life um going out being creative it can also represent pregnancy and birth so some of you probably some of you probably want to be a parent and you're probably getting that type that could be your wish fulfillment who knows uh your behavior involves i think you're full of love you're just full of love and it's just pouring out of you this involves romance and a proposal and i feel like you're making romantic gestures um you're just offering your love it's an emotional dreamy time this is my hopeless romantic card um this could be new friends coming into your circle new uh new social yeah um new social events or social situations new relationships new social relationships love is drawing in or you're you're drawing love or someone in near to you it's pisces energy could also be cancer or scorpio but aquarius as well um yeah this is someone creative spiritual a romantic dreamer um yeah my hopeless romantic card yeah i feel like you're just full of love and you're just pursuing the things that make you happy you're just and you're offering love too as well beautiful if this is you sagittarius or cross watcher whoever it's for okay on this side the mental space involves emotionally like thinking about the things that you need to let go of thinking about the things you need to move on from walk away from abandon this is more pisces energy you could have pisces in your chart somewhere <clears throat> this is about departure you're thinking about moving on from something leaving something behind um abandoning a relationship or moving away from something emotionally withdrawing from something there's some type of lack of substance um something is possibly holding you back or something of that nature a lot of cups energy a lot of cups but this person over here they're thinking about leaving something behind Um, emotionally, <clears throat> excuse me, emotionally we have the five of swords in reverse. I guess this is pretty good in the reverse. Um, it's a release of pride or defeat, um, acceptance of defeat, like something is, is done or it could have been a battle or it could have been conflict, but it's over. Um, someone um alert uh, oh, excuse me learning to abandon self-pity like not feeling sorry for yourself anymore um moving towards a fresh start um like because whatever this was it wasn't a it was a no-win situation so i think this person is emotionally yeah this this is a lot of letting go this person has a lot of letting go i think you're in a place of abundance and and gaining and and creating 
happiness and, and abundance and this person has a lot of releasing going on they're thinking about the things that they need to emotionally withdraw from and to let go and leave behind and then emotionally it's like this is emotions in the headspace and headspace in the emotions and it's like I understand it in my mind but I don't know how to find the words to it's like they're thinking about where their emotion where they need to put their emotions in check and emotionally they're, they're using the heart to balance out the mind and the mind to balance out the heart if that makes sense like they're thinking with their, their mind they're they're being logical about the things they need to emotionally withdraw from and then they're using their emotions there are they're allowing their emotions to I guess they're allowing their emotions to be dealt with or addressing their emotions with this defeat or accepting defeat within this situation abandoning their pride and not feeling sorry for themselves like okay I tried whatever this was I tried I lost oh well and just like moving on because both of these involve releasing something, moving on, departing. And they may feel, they may appear to be guarded. Their behavior is a nine of wands. <clears throat> Taking a strong position, standing up for yourself or someone else. Whether this is you or the other person. It's strength through sacrifice. This person has been through a lot. And they, they're just, they're so close to closing out this cycle or this chapter. But it's like they kind of need to take a break, catch their wind. Um, like we have the eight, the five, and then this nine. I kind of feel like this is like, ooh, it's like each each post they may have planted. It's like releasing something else. And it's like, ooh, okay, let me just kind of. It's like after you purge, you need to kind of rest to get your energy back, and then you purge again, and then that's what the, that's the kind of vibe I get from this over here. But this person is resilient. They're strong. Um, they're pushing through. This is my push through card. Um, but they could be slightly defensive. They may not see or reject certain opportunities because of everything that they have going on. So let's clarify the entire spread. Four shovels for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. has been coming up in a lot of people's readings all right <clears throat> so for the relationship situation <clears throat> we have a sun card with the seven of pentacles i think this uh whoever's doing this reflecting whoever um is starting to see the uh <clears throat> excuse me starting to see the fruit sprout on the tree you know you planted this tree or whatever and you're starting to see uh or you planted the seed you're starting to see the fruits of your labors sprout and it brings you a lot of happiness um it, leave, it brings you a lot of vitality um brings you a lot of joy with the sun card here leo energy um and i think this was virgo don't quote me or taurus I think it was Taurus. I don't know. It's Earth energy regardless. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. The Page of Swords. This person... Hmm. The Page of Swords. <clears throat> this person is feeling very curious. They're, um, they're thinking about wish fulfillment. They're thinking about... They could be spying and kind of like... Um... I get a sense of like a little bit of like the seven of swords energy but in a in a like um scheming strategizing planning type of way um with the page of swords like thinking about just like i don't know thinking about what they have just getting really creative with their thoughts 
and um, just really thinking about everything they have to accomplish or everything they want to accomplish, everything that represents this wish fulfillment for them. Um, I feel like they're very curious, very, uh, they have a lot of strong ideas. It could be, um, if this is a person, if this is, you know, you're looking at a, another person, you could be spying on them. You could be like, just checking out their social media profiles or something like that. Nothing too crazy. Could also be contracts or documents coming your way that need atten uh, that need careful attention to detail. Could also represent just new communication or new um, thoughts or ideas <clears throat> about something or about a situation or regarding this wish fulfillment, whatever that is. <clears throat> With okay, we got the six of wands with the three of cups. The Six of Wands is about success, accomplishment. It could also represent weddings. Um, so like the Four of Wands would be like my settle down card and then the Six of Wands would be like the honeymoon. You know what I'm saying? So this is, yeah, this is, you're very happy emotionally. I think you are just in a very good place. Some of you probably could be celebrating honeymoons or just spending a lot of time with the person you love. This could also just be, mm, this could be sex this could be sex for some of you could be getting it in um <laughs> but this is leo energy with the six of wands success and rewards like happy fun time socializing um good news a time for celebration in a relationship it's some type of announcement you could be announcing the birth or pregnancy um, a wedding anniversary something like that doesn't have to be anything like that it just could be just celebrating just cuz just celebrating life just happiness it could be celebrating whatever this wish fulfillment is but just celebrating um, it represents success, happiness. This is a lot of good, happy, passionate energy. Lovely. <clears throat> then we have the Five of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Hmm. So there may be a little bit of fear of loss with the Five of Cups here. There could have been some loss in the past. This is Mars and Scorpio with the Five of Cups. <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Knight of Cups. Um, this represents a little, I think, a little bit of sadness, but nothing too heavy because I feel like this knight is very confident <clears throat> or resilient um, regardless of any possible loss. I think, um, hmm, this person may be emotionally lonely and like a hopeless romantic that could be pursuing love. That could be it. I don't feel like there's a major, major loneliness or major sadness with this Five of Cups. Because um, it's all this happiness. I just can't picture this being very, very heavy. Um, I think this person surrounds herself with a lot of love. Um, to where whatever this is it's not heavy enough to like uh, overwhelm them it could be just a fear of losing a job or relationship or something like that but I think this person is just maybe just a little bit emotionally lonely and pursuing love I think they're just wanting to pursue love that's what I get from that I think this person is just happy and they just want it they're just ready okay the um, intellectual space in the mind of this person over here we have the eight of cups in the temperance card trying to acquire emotional balance yeah definitely negotiation like I said using the mind to deal with matters of the heart um, negotiating creating balance um, blending this is all about harmony partnership balance Sagittarius energy with the temperance card um yeah this is definitely it's 
trying to create balance within the situation between the heart and the mind um like moderation like moving away moving away at the right time from departing from this thing from these things at the right time that's why i think that's why it's so important to use the mind like to use the logic to deal with this like okay yes i need to let this go but let's be smart about it let's be responsible about it that's how that's what i get from this and then we have with the four um sorry with the five of pentacles <clears throat> we have the tower card The tower card is more Scorpio energy. It's destruction, major change, um, unexpected thoughts or feelings. I think this this problem. I'm I'm sorry. This uh, the emotional. I don't want to say loss. I guess I guess technically, let's see. You could refer to it as a loss, I guess. Let's look at the Five of Swords in reverse again. I guess, like, the releasing of the pride, the acceptance of defeat, whatever this defeat is, um, maybe that realization was the tower moment. Maybe... Um... maybe i don't know maybe this person was working on something um and it's just they just realize it's not working out it hasn't been working out and all of a sudden they realize they need to let it go and they need to they 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 need to accept defeat and just relinquish it and then with the tower card i feel like all of these feelings were definitely sudden unexpected possibly disruptive like Maybe you were willing to work on whatever this was, or mm, I feel like I feel like there was some type of conflict or some type of battle, but um, I don't know. Maybe you just realized I don't want to deal with this shit. Whoever this person is, like it could have involved anger, disruption, or disaster. Um, but whatever this is, it it's an, it humbled you. Whether this is you, Sagittarius, or Crosswatcher, or Sagitt you know, Sagittarius's person, which would be a Crosswatcher, if you don't have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, yes, it's it's a new approach. It's a it's a new start. It's a new it's a whole new beginning. It's a new way of doing things because whatever when the tower comes crashing down, whatever it means, whatever was whatever there was it's not working anymore it it came crashing down because um it wasn't built on solid ground so i feel like either this is a new approach a new approach like throwing down your swords like okay like maybe we shouldn't be fighting maybe we should just be talking or something like that i don't know you know like let's try this a different way something like that and then with the nine of wands, we have the six of swords, which comes right after the five of swords. All this departure, this person is letting go. I think you're trying to gain on this side. This person is trying to build, build, build. They're trying to, they're trying, they're all about abundance on, on this side. And this person has a lot of releasing to do right now. Um, so if you're pursuing this person, I think you probably are. And this person is dealing with a lot of shit right now. Um, they're trying to let go in another situation and it's probably taking them some time to do so because they're trying to Because it's like you can't let go of something like cold turkey because you don't really deal with the shit So I think they're taking the time to really process their emotions and really think about how they feel about certain things It's like they're looking at each one of these cups and like, okay, what's in here? Let's look at this. Let's deal with this shit in here. Okay, they dealt with that when they maybe take a little time for themselves okay let's look in this other cup you know what i'm saying like they go through each one of them and they're dealing with it they're, they're letting stuff go and they're letting it go little by little but um i think you're trying to pursue them you're very eager and you're very excited and very um um hopeful but this person is slightly guarded and they appear to be moving on 
they could be moving like actually moving with the six of swords um alleviating stress just like not dealing with things that um don't make them happy or that, that, that don't bring them um like this happiness this sun card happiness like that vitality of the sun card they're departing from old things leaving the familiar behind um They could be traveling or moving Aquarius energy with the six of swords they're distancing themselves from conflict um, they're looking to towards new opportunities for growth I do kind of want to further clarify this, the five of swords in reverse and the tower this is the one right here seven of cups I feel like this person this person could have options. I don't know. Somebody could have options. Clarify the five of swords in the tower, please. Page of Wands. Yeah, I think this person wants a new beginning, a new a new start. Um, has new desires, new passions, new uh, a new approach. This could also represent communication, travel. A young artist a creative person emotionally this per this is their emotional space I think they're tuning into their creativity um, they may have gotten a boost in energy or creativity involved in this situation or about this situation possibly because of the tower moments Clarify the nine of wands and the six of swords, please. One more shuffle. Nine of wands and the six of swords. Nine of swords. This person could have a lot of anxiety about the situation they may know that you're pursuing them and it may give them a little bit of anxiety it may stress them out a little bit they could be dealing with i don't want to say they're dealing with another person or they could be trying to walk away from another person or another situation or at least emotionally withdraw from it they may just not be completely emotionally available because they're still releasing and letting go of some old shit that wasn't serving them they're trying to balance everything out within and like i said really process their emotions and and deal with things and deal with their emotions in a logical way they could be getting a little bit of anxiety especially if you are coming in kind of strong so be mindful of that of uh, this person may have their guard up or they may seem like we got two nines they they could be really close to finishing closing out a cycle or uh, completing a cycle but this person is slowly alleviating the stress and moving on from stress they could be alleviating anxiety and moving out moving out of a oh goodness moving out of a phase of anxiety um but you could be giving them a little bit of anxiety and causing them to feel defensive um or a little bit guarded if you come in too strong so be mindful of that let's get some advice for sagittarius summer rising venus and jupiter three cards of advice from the star material deck one good shuffle mix them around a little bit. I just saw the four of wands and the eight of wands. So I lied. Two shuffles. Alright. Temperance, ten of pentacles, and six of pentacles. Okay. Temperance. Again, temperance twice. 
So I feel like Sagittarius, if this left side is your side, you definitely need to balance yourself in this situation and don't go into overdrive. I know you're feeling very happy. You are a fire sign and don't let your emotions get the best of you and do too much. Like, um, I think you should take into consideration the slow, slow and steady wins the race, you know? Um, have a little bit of stride so you don't get a little too, too excited or too ahead of yourself. Let's read from the book, Temperance. All right, seeing the extraordinary and the ordinary, exquisite balance, a period of re rebirth, slow down and view the world with a fresh, magical perspective. Trust your intuition. So definitely let your intuition guide you, Sagittarius. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Don't get too hyper. Let your emotions guide you. I mean, don't let your let your intuition guide you let your intuition not emotions let your intuition guide you and you have to slow down so you can hear your intuition clearly so be mindful of that the ten of pentacles is all about um co-creating starting your family co-create and explore the world with those you love Passing on the means to thrive, connect with others, create networks of resources. This is all about resources, friends, and family. Um, loyalty, strong family bonds, financial security, stability, loyalty. Um, yeah. So you want to be smart about the way you go about this. So you have to be balanced um, in order to hear your intuition clearly. More Sagittarius energy with the temperance card again. So yeah, you definitely want to be in your nature, be in your balance, uh, be balanced in your nature, you know. And the Six of Pentacles. Step into the natural flow of abundance, the custodian of resources, philanthropy. Generously offer life your best and deliver a worthwhile vision. So take, very, take your time with this. Be methodical. Um, be practical about this and be like make calculated steps don't rush and really be mindful of the energy you put into this because that is what you will be getting out of it so take into consideration um like if you rushed and this one didn't get you what you wanted you know or if you took your time with these and you see how this you know how this sprouted it made you very happy you saw the growth you saw the abundance you saw the happiness um, that it created <clears throat> skip the likely outcome for Sagittarius <clears throat> Excuse me. two more shuffles three cards for the outcome for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter Pentacles in reverse and the moon card in reverse. So I think there's some emotional emotional boredom. Um, someone could be rejecting an offer or not seeing an opportunity. Listen, this represents failure to see or reject rejecting oppor certain opportunities. If you come in too soon, if you come in at the wrong time, this person may not be ready or prepared to accept this offer. You may be offering it while they're in a place where they're in between breaks, like they're going through this period of where they're releasing things and they may um, they may go through moments where they just need some time to release and let go and just take some time to them themselves and they may be feeling re really guarded and have their have have a little bit of a wall up and if you come rushing in with your cup of love they may not see the opportunity um or they may just straight up ignore it because they have some other things that they need to deal with um first you know and it could be perceived a certain way and you could be feeling like you know you wasted your time and you're not getting the recognition that you deserve or you're not um 
you know, your efforts aren't being recognized, your hard work is not being recognized, your time, um, your love, your, you know, it's just your efforts in general, you could feel like it's not being recognized. This is cancer energy. Um, this person could just be, they could just have some emotional scars. There could be a fear of love, but don't make this, don't let this be your energy too. If you make an offer and it, and it's, and it's denied, um, or if it's rejected, don't let this be your energy. Um, but I feel like it, it won't be because with this five of cups here, I feel like you have, there has been loss. You may have been rejected in the past or there has been some type of loss in the past, but you're moving away from that and you're moving towards, I think, new opportunities um, with the Ace of Pentacles, the way the Knight is facing towards the opportunity. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles. But also towards this person in this situation over here. So just be mindful of this person's energy and just pay attention. Don't get too excited and too caught up in your emotions that you don't be mindful of what this person is, and what their emotional state is, and you don't offer them something when they're in a place where they can't really accept it. And with the, I think this is, yeah, this is Virgo energy. Yeah, this is just a lack of growth um don't let this make you feel like you know you wasted your time or that there's no room for growth because the, you've the, you've seen the potential you've seen the opportunity for growth so don't let this discourage you um just be mindful it's just some of you may not and that's why this is coming up in the outcome but it's also just a warning and then we have the moon card in reverse. And this is the one I'm not sure about. This could be unhappiness, morbid thoughts, superstition, paranoia. You could be thinking the worst about a situation. Or you could just be trying to play out the situation in your head. Like, oh, you could be thinking about, this could be having curiosity or a lot of ideas about um, the ending of it. And then you could be trying to play out the situation in your head. Like, Oh, I might offer this and it'll be a waste of time. You're just having all these eerie thoughts and these horrible thoughts about what may or may not happen. Being paranoid. You could be built, feel, um, creating fears, um, based on buried emotions. You could just be burying your emotions. Someone could be burying their emotions. This is Pisces energy. Um, but it, it's a need to release what's holding you back. I think this person is trying to release release some things over here. Um, so just be mindful of this person's emotional state. And you don't make the offer at a wrong time or a bad time while they're in the middle of releasing some things. And also don't get yourself too worked up about... Um, how it could play out and if you do make the opportunity if you do make the offer at the wrong time don't let it discourage you if it gets turned down or if the person doesn't um understand or if it's not clear to this person if they don't understand it for what it is because they're in this place where they're dealing with something they're emote they're they're releasing things so again, this is telling you to let your intuition guide you to release what's holding you back. But it's also it could also be buried emotions that need to be acknowledged. This could be um, this could be you too. Um, someone, whoever it is, this could be the emotions that need to be acknowledged. It is a cup. Cups represent the emotions. So this could be the cup that the the emotions that need to be acknowledged so just take it how it resonates we got a few synchronicities in this reading um so that's your reading Sagittarius I hope that resonates and I hope it gives you clarity um if this is your side this looks very happy and beautiful so let's just keep the energy that way <coughs> remain balanced remain <coughs> excuse me in your true element but also don't get too ahead of yourself um, and just be mindful of this person's energy you don't want to give them anxiety or you don't want to make them um, feel defensive or guarded 
um, or you don't want to offer anything to them while they're in this in this nature <clears throat> especially if you know that it may make you feel like this put you in an emotional rut if you can't handle it don't put yourself in that um, in that position so that's your reading I hope you um, will like subscribe and comment down below and connect with me on Instagram instant go all of my social media sites are down below in the description box as well as how to book a personal reading or donate to my channel <clears throat> and until next time peace love and light bye Sag.